Welcome everybody, I'm Professor Kim and I'm excited to share with you Inkling. This is a 20 minute game for three to six players, perfect for small groups. And it really asks players to really stretch their creative skills here because players are gonna receive these cards and they won't get every letter they need. So this is a word game with an innovative twist. Before the game begins, players are going to draw eight letter cards and they can just throw them on the table like I have because they're going to be moving these letters around in their player area trying to spell out words that they have on their word list. Now players are going to draw one card and that's going to be the card they use for the entire game. And you also want to keep it secret so that players don't see your words because they are trying to guess the words on your word list. For ease, I'm going to keep it face up here so you can actually see what my words are and maybe see what my methods are. So I drew my eight letters and in the very first round, players are going to take their letters and start seeing what they can spell. Now I'm looking at my words and the easier words to spell are definitely worth fewer points. If I can get my players to guess hall, earth, or method, I will receive one point for each of those guessed words. The other are really hard, level two, justice and audience. And then lastly, furniture is worth three points. So I have three different rounds to get my players to guess my words. So you can only focus on a couple words at a time. Now, what do I have here? No Fs, no Js, uh, no, no As. Um, boy, this is going to be really tough, but maybe I can get people to spell. Oh, I have an H and an A. Let me see if I can get this. Maybe I do something like this. Yeah, I'm going to do that to make it look like an L. I have H um, and maybe something like, oof. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that for haul. It's tough, but maybe people will get it. Do I have anything for method or earth or justice? Boy, I just don't. I wonder if there's any way I can. Maybe this is a better haul. Maybe that's better. Turn that Y upside down. This is where you have to get really creative in this game. So let's say, I boy, I just don't have the, the, the letters that really help me do this. Don't worry. There are going to be more rounds. Now, what players are going to do once they're all done is they're going to leave their cards out and players are going to guess to their left and they're going to guess the players to their right. So that's why you have to have at least three players in this game and you can guess up to seven times even though there are only six words that you're trying to guess because you might guess a word and you want to try again at it later, um, you can do that here, up to seven guesses. So I'm going to look over at my, my player over here, and I'm going to say, what word or words do I think they're spelling? Write it down. The same thing with the player to my right, and I sure hope that the players uh, to my right and left look over here and see the word hall. So now that that very first round is done, you're going to look at your cards, and you are going to try uh, to see what you're missing and what you might need because you're allowed to discard up to two cards and you will be drawing three plus the amount of cards you discard. And I definitely need some new letters. So I'm going to keep, I like the M for method. I like the R for earth. I like this C and I because those help me do vowels. Um, I don't want this L, I don't want this G, and that's it. I can only get rid of two, so I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to toss them back in the box lid, and I'm going to count out one, two, three, four, five. So two plus the three that you always get, even if you don't discard. Now it's round two, and I've got ah my U, A, E, Z. Ah, this is so good. And this Z could be an N very easily. Um, I'm ready to go. 
So then you are going to do this, this round again, and you're gonna spell out as many words as possible. And then when you're done, you will have a chance to guess, and you will follow the same steps for round three. I'm gonna try to put these into a couple more collections to see if I can give my fellow players next to me a chance to uh, you know, guess my words before I tell you how the game scores. So I do like this. I've got my, oh, I don't have a D. I've got my audience. Maybe I've got my audience like this. I'm gonna put, oh, where's my N? Oh boy, this is a big word. I'm gonna do this and try to put this as a, oh, I like earth. Um, let me do it like this. I wanna push this up. Okay, there we go. Now my letters are all kind of the way I want them to be. Okay, let me scoosh just a little bit more. Okay, so I think I'm ready. Now I've made this H a little sideways and spaced off from this because I really wanna make sure um, that there's a gap here. I want them to know maybe something is missing. I also place this face down because I want them to know a letter goes here, but I just didn't have the letter. What was this letter? Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do it like this. That looks more like a D. There we go. That's a little bit more indicative. Okay, so I have now made my words and I feel so much better about this because I spelled out earth. At least I feel like I spelled out earth. I did my best. And then I have audience. And that just, I'm so excited about audience because I really had to be creative with my letters. So if they guess earth and audience after they guessed hall, then I'm off to a really, really good start. And in my third round, I can maybe focus on justice, method, or furniture, or maybe all three, because I'm gonna be getting more cards in my third round. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to score up how many you got correct with the player to your left and the player to your right, and you're gonna be putting those points in here. You're also gonna score up the points that players guessed on you. So did they guess how many correctly based on yours? And you are going to total up those points. This game really encourages players to value their own space because not only are they trying to guess what other players' words are because that's how you can earn points, if you're as clear as possible or creative as possible with your word selection, arranging your letters in a very um, clear and persuasive way, you're going to earn points for players guessing your words. And so it's just a really great system of having easier words, medium level words, and hard words. And there's a huge stack of word lists here, and there are tons and tons of these letter cards. And so this game um, just never gets old. I feel like this is a game that has such lasting power, and it also has so much flexibility with the creativity that players are gonna bring to the table. So I think Inkling is a really, really great word game to share in the classroom, not only for spelling, but creativity. All right, thank you for joining me in this quick rundown of Inkling and how fantastic it could be for your classroom. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.